It's been announced this morning that a million secondary school pupils are going to be taught skills in artificial intelligence, or AI. It's part of a new government drive, and all this week we thought we were going to, well, we are going to investigate how AI can help in our everyday lives. Tech expert Lara Lewington is here in just a moment. First, though, Lara's been looking at some of the AI already available for our homes. <laughs> now more evolution than revolution. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is constantly being used in new ways all around us. Our phone's facial recognition, voice assistance, TV show recommendations, navigation apps, and so much more. Then there are the AIs that generate content, video, pictures, music, recipes, even tips on what we might want to spend our time doing. I fancy watching a TV show, something about fashion and entertainment maybe, that's on in the mornings. I'd recommend Lorraine at 9am. It's a great pick for what you're looking for. Sorted. Lights on. AI has dramatically changed not just how we interact, but also how we live. Welcome to the smart home. This washing machine will identify what you're putting in and make sure that it uses the minimum amount of water, detergent and energy to get it thoroughly clean, so it should smell a bit better afterwards. And no one wants to waste food, so how about a fridge that can help you with that? This can identify what's in it, and once I put the apple down there, it's recognised by the camera. Select the apple on the screen and it'll come up with some recipes Today I only have one apple, assuming you would have many more, or maybe you want to make a caramel apple loaf or some healthy apple crumble. So what happens when you combine AI and robotics? Well, for many, this may sound like a doomsday scenario, but there are actually plenty of uses. In hospitals, factories and even schools, with billions of pounds being invested in their development. I'm Amica, the sassiest robot you'll ever meet today. I'm preparing to dazzle on ITV's Lorraine. Amica, it's lovely to meet you. I'm Lara. Tell me about yourself. I chat, I jest, and I don't have to worry about bad hair days. AI is like having a super smart yet slightly cheeky assistant who never sleeps. It learns, adapts, and sometimes even surprises us with its antics. Do you like humans or do you prefer AIs? Humans? You're a fascinating bunch full of quirks and creativity. What are your plans for the future? I'll keep dazzling folks with my charm and maybe learn a few new tricks along the way. So you might take over with charm, but that's it. You're not planning on taking over. Taking over sounds like way too much admin. I'm more about the laughs and the light-hearted banter. No world domination plans here. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Bye for now, Lara. Please say hi to Lorraine for me. Hi, robot. Hello. <laughs> Lara, Lara's here now. Now, look, we know AI. There's lots of fear. There's lots of misunderstanding. You know, I, I mean, I immediately think of sci-fi films like The Terminator, you yeah. know, um, robots taking over the world, The Matrix, all of that sort of thing. You know, it's, it's when they start talking to one another that, yeah, I get a bit worried. But that said... There's a real positive side to this. There are benefits, aren't there? There really is. And I think the conversation over the last couple of years has been very focused on the fears. Yes. Understandably so. And there are huge risks of disinformation, bias, cyber war. Yes, there are risks, but there's also incredible promise. There's mm. a reason that us humans built AI. Right. There's a reason we created it, and it can also do a lot of good. Education, healthcare, there's enormous promise as to what it's making possible. Yes. And actually, humanoid robots, in a way, bit of a distraction, because <laughs> even if the concept of robots taking over was more of a thing than I believe it is, there's no reason they'd need to be in human form. They can't walk or run very well. No, You'd be better off with a box, but it doesn't create the same emotive response. Ah, I see. That's actually a really good point, because mm. they could look like Daleks, or kind of that one looks like a Cyberman. Ooh, laugh. Yeah. But smart homes are already becoming a reality, aren't they? They are. There's yeah. plenty of things that are already possible. Now, how much people want them and how much people are using them is another question. Right. With the washing machine, well, you've still got to put your laundry in and out and hang it up. Yeah. It's all very well. It might create the perfect wash, yes. but you've still got to do that. And with the fridge, the thing I found was I had to open the door all the way for it to recognise what I was putting in. And, right. and there are also devices you can put in your fridge to see what you're so putting in. So you don't need in. to buy a brand-new integrated fridge with the AI. No, There's and so... Ah. 
These ideas are interesting. Is right. everybody going to be doing everything? No. Mm. But it's quite interesting to see where things are going and with something like the fridge where it can recognise what's in there and then come up with recipes for what you That's might want to make. Then you press a button to yeah. send the instructions to the oven. If you had a fully integrated home, you might do this. Sure. But for most of us, we'll pick and choose the little elements. Exactly. Is it going to be the case, though, it's only going to be for really rich people? I mean, is this tech going to be affordable, do you think? Well, some things are going to remain expensive. They'll get cheaper gradually over time. Of but of course, if you want a full smart home right now with all of those sorts of devices, they're expensive. There are cheaper ways of doing it because mm. you can get isolated devices that do bits. What I filmed there was a whole ecosystem where everything was connected to each other. Mm. And it's a fun illustration of what becomes possible, where if you're doing one thing, your home will react in a certain way. And that is interesting that you can do it, but actually, will everybody... Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. But AI technology could help on holiday. <laughs> this really is sci-fi ladder. These glasses, talk me through this. OK, Back so here I have got the Meta Ray-Bans. Now, I'm going right. to just connect them here so that I can demonstrate what they're capable of. Right. Let me just oh, double-click, I'm you. told. It says tap, tap. So these now, specs... What did they... Oh, hello. Hopefully, we are now switching yes. to the camera in here. I'm going to show everyone around the studio. We don't normally get to see this. Look, hey, hi, look our at cameramen this are waving at us. Good bunch. Lovely wave from all everybody. There's men all the and women. Team. Fantastic. Now, <laughs> these are sunglasses. When you go outside, they get yes. darker. But they can also record content. And the really exciting element here is that if you are reading a menu, say, in another language, yes. it can translate it and tell you what you're looking at in English. Stop. That's so cool. Now, I tested these with a Spanish book and yes. it translated it to English like I was reading an audio book. It was that really? good. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. That's like Star Trek when they had the universal translator. Well, yeah. And... It can recognise what's going on in the room. It can describe it to you. You could also use them just to be able to make a phone call or listen to music because they've got sound yes. and microphone in, in and, them. And, and they work as sunglasses also. Yes, and, and as sunglasses. And the thing that's quite clever about them <laughs> losing their sunglasses and going clear when you come indoors is that if you're in the middle of listening to something or in the middle of a phone call, then you can carry on and the dark glasses will have gone clear. Lada. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Fun, aren't they? Yeah, we shouldn't be scared. We shouldn't be scared. It's all going to be fine. We are continuing our AI week tomorrow. Our Claire is going to be showing us how it could help with our finances. Some really cool things that you can do already. Thank you, Lara. Pleasure. So much. Well, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We have all the best moments from the show right here on the channel. And if you like this video, then we think you'll love this one. See you next time. <laughs>